and a rainy good afternoon to you ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, DJ Kurt. DJ Kurt's video venue review today coming to you from beautiful old Sturbridge uh, just across the border from uh, home state of Connecticut and Massachusetts. Today we are at the Wright Farm, or I should say the barn at the Wright Farm. Uh, it's a uh, like a small closet with a bunch of uh, different uh, businesses uh, uh, that occupy the various spaces. Uh, today's wedding also includes a ceremony, which will be in a separate portion of the venue. Uh, it's a drizzly September day, really duck weather. But uh, that's okay, we need the rain. I think this is a uh, remnant of Hurricane Harvey and the news that are coming our way. But you know what, enough about the weather report. Let's go, uh, let's go see what the barn at the right barn here in Sturbridge, Mass. So once you pull in, there's uh, more than ample parking. Uh, when you first access the parking lot, the barn is actually towards the end of the parking lot. That would be the red building you see right there. Uh, I wouldn't say it's an actual, you know, old time barn. It was uh, a creation to uh, uh, appear as a barn, certainly on the inside, and you'll see that once we uh, show you the main reception area. But first, we're going to take a look at where today's ceremony And so, I mean, be. today's ceremony, uh, originally, weather permitting, which it's obviously not today, was to take place outdoor by the gazebo, and you'll see that as we walk around. Uh, as always, there's a plan B, and plan B is in the Alpheus White Room. So, uh, brick pathways everywhere it gives it that nice, authentic, uh, you know, colonial feel. So, when the guests arrive, they would make their way following the red brick path. And before we go any further, if you can see, there in the distance, the gazebo, which fronts, uh, I think it's Main Street or West Main or North Main or South Main, some kind of a maze is where the ceremony would have taken place. However, plan B, as we said, is in the Alpheus White Room. Today's wedding is about 100 guests. And again, uh, you know, even in here, this uh, really mirrors the barn itself in that you have know, a lot of post and beam construction, vaulted ceilings, lots of wood, so I mean, sound should be absolutely incredible for the reception, no, it's, though it's fine here also for the uh, ceremony. Uh, I am set up in the corner, as you can see in here, and looking out onto the ceremony area. Okay, so back outside. So once the guests are finished with our ceremony, uh, I will direct them out to follow the red path up to the back of the red barn there, which is where they will be able to access main reception. So again, normally if this were not a rainy day, uh, my understanding is cocktail hour would have been right here. Lovely on the patio. Unfortunately, weather's not cooperating, so cocktail hour will take place in main reception. And as we walk into main reception, don't mind me, I do this at all the places I've never been to before. <laughs> uh, set up in front of us is a table with all the uh, uh, place cards for guests. Off to the right, uh, a table, oftentimes it's a family table, picture family, whatnot. Today, apparently, we're having a lot of kids. So there's a lot of coloring stuff for the kids, as well as the uh, the obligatory uh, wedding board for everybody to sign in lieu of a guest book, which is a wonderful idea. It's amazing. Every time I see one of these, they're always different, which is nice. Nothing worse than monotony. And so far, it looks just like mom and dad. And a couple of the wedding party, they need to get to work. And a wedding party just kind of chilling. 
waiting for things to get underway, which is uh, less than an hour away. Room is all finished being set up. Wonderfully laid out room. Uh, dance floor centered amongst the uh, posted beams. Again, vaulted ceilings. Table surround. Very comfortably set up. Off to the right, a uh, built-in bar that you can saddle up to. And again, nicely uh, centrally uh, located. So it lends itself to a festive environment. This is the best man, Jeremy. Just got his hair cut. It's nice to even have... I'm not really sure what you would call the uh, call this type of carpeting, but uh, it, it, it's, it's some sort of cone. I don't know. It's uh, but it's wonderful. It, it, it uh, you know absorbs sound. Everything is wood. I mean, acoustics in here will be absolutely wonderful. Kitchen off to the right, and then view out onto the dance floor from the DJ booth. Really a very, very comfortable setting. So, ladies, fellas, uh, I know I am based out of uh, out of Central Connecticut, uh, but if you were considering a, uh, a barn reception, perhaps a barn more on the, on the uh, contemporary style, uh, certainly this is worth a look. Um, it's got from Central Connecticut, from the Harvard area, less than an hour here. It's literally right off of the border. Uh, like the second or third exit into uh, Massachusetts off of Route 20. And uh, definitely, like I said, worth a look. Stack is wonderful. And uh, that's it. So once again, this is DJ Kurt from DJ Kurt Entertainment. Hoping to see you out and about at one of our fabulous wedding receptions.